and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we're going to do a video about my kids' favourite books. They're going to go through them with you um, and they've got about five or six each. They'd like to show you. Yes, we've got five each. Yeah, I think it's just six. Movie. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to go through all the favourite books. I've asked them both to pick um, five or six books out of their bedroom so they can talk about. I've show... got five. And eva has got six that I can share with you guys, just so um, there might be recommendations for your children. So Ava is four. Letters. Four. Yes. And Andrew is seven. 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 Yes. Yeah. So if your children are around a similar age, they might be into um, I books that books. they are as I well. So you want to start with Ava's books? I got mini books. So first one is a mini book. Um, it did come with a Minnie Mouse headband on top of it as well. We actually got these from Aldi. Um, last time I looked, they still had a couple in, not many. Um, but it all depends, I suppose, which Aldi you go to. This one is kind of a crazy book, but it's good for children that rip books because they were kind of one of those sometimes cool. and to chew on as well it is flexible but it's kind of like a foam inside and then kind of like plastic Mommy. outside um so this one is a big mini mouse and then you flip it over and it actually has a lot going off of it um which is quite good so you've got a little bit of words and then just loads of colorful pictures so this one's really good if your child is quite young um but yeah this it's, it's really really good especially if they like disney and mickey and minnie and things like that I've got Princess from Ava. This one I actually ordered offline. If I can find any of these, um, the links to the books, I'll pop them in the description box. But this one, she absolutely loves this one. This one must be one of them that we have to go to pretty much every other night. This one is personalised with her name. So it is What Makes Ava a Princess. And it goes through all the characteristics of all the princesses. So you go through Aurora, Snow White, Rapunzel, um, bell things like that so you kind of like go through saying so there's one of them here and pascal and pascal yeah so snow white is kind she is caring and friendly to animals are you kind ava so it kind of goes through the the nice side of being a princess and then ariel yeah and fish and cat yeah so it's really good but it goes in the characteristics that are quite important so being creative and friendly and kind um, and curious and things like that. So she Another really, really loves it. Another one. Another Beauty. Beauty and the Beast, which is an obvious one because she's obsessed with it's Disney. Got, it's got something back. Yes, there's loads of different ones you can get at this. I got Even like Incredible. Jasmine. There's Jasmine, yeah. There's Baby Jack Jack, Pinocchio, uh, Fox and the Hound, Nemo, and I Am Belle. She has a few of these. She has. Um, I am the beast and then she has a frozen one and then she also has a snow white one as well um, but yeah it's really good and it goes to questions of the beast so it says I am beast but then it goes it's kind of like a, a shorter version of the story but it's on beast's side and not on Belle's side um, so yeah she really really loves that one Ooh, whoa. Another one which has only been quite recent that she's kind of got into. This one that she's got into recently it is Hansel and Gretel. That was uh, one of my books. It was one of yours. Um, I think she likes it because it's, it's like a candy Hansel. house. <laughs> yeah, but she took it from me. It's all full of different sweeties and chocolate and things like that. So, But then she took it off me when she had it. Yes, but obviously it's just a basic story of Hansel and Gretel but you've got quite colourful pictures in there. And um, I do want to me something. Yeah. That one, Andrew. I mean, that one. You like that one, don't you? So, yeah, that's been one of her favourites recently, but it's been more about actually reading a book rather than looking at the pictures, which is quite good because she's getting to that age now. Got, the next I one is one. just like the book I showed you previous, but the Snow White version. So, this is the same of the other book, so the, the Beast one, but it's Snow White. It's just a shorter version of the Snow White film, um, but obviously, she loves Snow White. And it says, I'm not going to stop. Mini Dad. This is just the same as um, the Snow White like film. And at the start of the book, it, it has Eva's name in for yeah. some, whose book it is. Yes. Yeah. And so the last book is Max, Max the, Brave. the Brave. She absolutely Max loves this book and it is really, really, really Mommy's good. Mummy's got this for me. It's um, a very like, simplised. Mummy's got this for me. Yes, it's a very simplised book. Mummy, you've got this for 
I can't remember when we actually got Mama, this one. I think it was Mama, picked up somewhere. I did get this one for you. Thank but you. it's one of those that everything's quite simple on the page, so there's not a lot going off. Um, but it's quite good because it goes through things. So basically, it's about a little kitten called Max that um, he wants to be brave and chase mice, but he doesn't know what a mouse looks like. So he goes through all the different animals like birds and all the other things basically trying to find a mouse when he gets told that the wrong thing is a mouse and um, he gets himself into a bit of trouble um, is this a mini? yeah but it's basically quite simple like this so you've got bar. some words and you some simple pictures yeah and then yeah he's just searching around trying to find it so you've got the, just the basic pictures but with a colourful background and some words so it's quite simplistic but she absolutely loves it Right, so I think that's all your books sorted. Andrew's turn! So it's Andrew's turn. And I have Harry and the Dinosaurs make a Christmas wish. Um, you have quite a lot of the Harry and the Dinosaur books, don't you? And you do love them. And to be honest, Ava absolutely loves them as well. She sometimes steals them out of his bedroom to read. Um, what's this one about? Do you remember what this one's about? It's about um, Christmas, but and it's um, Harry's birthday, and he's making a wish for before blowing his candles on his cake. Okay. So you really like this one, yeah? I love it. Right, right I love this one. Next yeah. one is Romp in the Swamp with Harry in it again. Yeah, this I is like Harry this and the Dinosaurs one. again. This is the one I like. like this one. I've not read that one before with it either, but um, yeah, I've read this one. Um, I like this Do you want to tell me what it's about? They're going to the dinosaur, so when they get there, um, Charlie hides his toys from her yeah. friend because Char Charlie doesn't want her, his friend to see them. Yeah, because they're magic dinosaurs, aren't they? Because they grow big and speak and stuff. Yeah. But by the end of it, it's really good because he ends up sharing his toys and he actually wants to play with her again with all the toys. Um, so that's a really good book as well, isn't it? About sharing. So the next book, which again is Ava's favourite and she has kind Dick of like took it a few times. Dick win. Will it? Dick Whittington. Dick Whittington. Yeah. Dick Will Whittington. It's just a book that obviously I knew growing up. Um, it's fairly old um, for the story. It's kind of sometimes in Gretel. Pretty much most people know the stories. Well, this wasn't actually my book, but my um, cousin actually bought it me. Yeah. Because as you can see, it says to Corey, class five. 2014. Yeah, Corey got that from his teacher, didn't he? But then when Corey grew out of it, he passed it down to you. Do you what do you like about that book? I like that we haven't been to London in a long time, and I loved, and I love it when we went to London. So that's why I like reading this book. Yeah, it's about to him going to London, London, isn't it? Because he really wants to go to London for work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's your next book? My next book is a. Is a book called Spot the Bird on the Building Site, which I actually got from a party. Yeah. From Holly Wilder's. I think so, yeah. Yeah. And it's kind of like Where's Wally, but you have to spot the bird. Yeah. It's really so, good. So, let's spot the bird on the park. I'll show you them. So, as you know, the, the bird's right there. Next one. And then um, you have to find the And then there's other things you can spot as well, can't you? It asks you to spot at the bottom. So you can go around looking for them. I haven't found the bird on this one yet. Just see if we can find it. Yeah. What does the bird look like again? Oh, there it is! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> it's like little bit. It's been cheeky right there. I want to see! <laughs> it's right there, look, Ava. So it's really good because it's one of those books that. <laughs> It's, they've got reading obviously in it as well, but when they have to try and find something, they have to focus quite well. The car just not focus on it. Yeah. It's one of the to find There's one like you. Yeah, that's another bird. So yeah, it gets, them, hammer right there. it gets them to focus on looking at the pictures and um, finding things, so in a way it's really good. I mean, Andrew can read, but I've, it, I've already seen the button. Yeah. Sorry, Andrew can read, but it's really good for children that can't read and they have to focus more on the pictures. Because obviously, when you first 
start reading you don't really have many words to read do you it's mainly looking at the pictures so that might be a good mm -hmm. book to start off with reading um, mommy, I, I, know. I already read that when I haven't read it so I oh yeah so Andrew's next book right if you guys toys in space by Minnie Gray I got this one for his birthday when he turned six um but he's absolutely obsessed with space um Quite got some. Well, I actually, want, actually wanted to get another one. Yeah, the so I quickly go and get. So it's got bright pictures in as well, but it's got like lots of words. It's kind of like sorry, baby. Um, it's got lots of words, but it's kind of laid out like a comic. You've got lots of like speech bubbles coming out and um, a lot of things going off with it, which Andrew loves. So this is my favorite book because I love space and I love playing with toys. I love playing with them. What's your favourite thing you like about it? Remember? Well, the aliens taking the toys. But there's um, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. And I like it when the alien takes all the toys when it's laying down, it, when it's laying down in the dark in the garden. Oh, okay. So you've got your last book. Which is Andrew's book about space. So Nana got this one for you Christ for Christmas because obviously it's personalised and For 2018 it. Christmas. Yes. Um, what do you like about this one? Where you've got some colourful things. Nana's got pieces one. It's one. Nana's got pieces Yeah. It's quite Vikings. funny as well isn't it? You read a bit to me about um, the aliens wanted to go on vacation. So they went to, di to visit different planets. Is that right? But the first one, yeah, but the first one they went to was close, too close to the sun so they moved to a different one up there. But then the last one they went to was oh, ever down no there, so it's a lovely piece of space. So that's, so, Go get that so I felt like that's why we're in Earth right now. The best place to be. It's not too far away from the sun, it's too cold, it's not too close to the sun, that we're burning. Okay, so yeah. I've got six books and the has got six books. Yes. Like I said, if I do find these um, books anywhere, I'll pop them in the description box below. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe if you're new, but also press that bell as well so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. But I hope you have an amazing rest of the day, and I will see you soon. Bye!